Another thing I want you to look at is the triceps. Of all the upper limb muscles listed, the triceps have the lowest percentage of type 1 and thus the highest percentage of type 2 fibers. Okay, And we know that um, uh, with the triceps, in order to truly tap into all three heads of the triceps, particularly the lateral head or the lazy head of the triceps, research shows that the intensity must be high. Uh, this comes from the late uh, Dr. Anthony Travel, who spent most of his time at Queen's University. Um, but he did an excellent study and it showed that, you know, in order to get, in order to truly tap into the triceps, intensity must be high. How high? You're looking at 85% of your 1RM or, or greater, okay? So, most females who are interested in reducing uh, uh, the tricep uh, area, so basically, you know, when they wave their arm and the triceps are basically flapping around and they want to tighten that area up, they're going to need to use higher loads when they're performing compound multi-joint movements such as close grip bench press or uh, parallel bar dips in order to truly tap into all three heads of the triceps. I don't suggest that you use heavy movements on extension exercises. Um, for instance, uh, tricep extensions or even press downs because there's a great shearing uh, forces that are produced on the joint. And so whenever you're doing any type of elbow or knee extension, um, typically you don't want to go below 6RM low because that could be very harsh on the joints. For the flexors, it's a completely different um, case. Flexors can work within the 1 to 6RM load. In fact, they thrive within that uh, frame, but not the extensors. Okay. However, when you're using uh, compound multi-joint movements and you're spreading it over several muscles, uh, by all means, you should go heavy and tap into those fibers. Another thing I want you to look at is the rectus abdominis Okay, at 46.1. This is the six-pack uh, muscle of the abdominals, right? That everyone is interested in. Well, you'll note that it has a greater percentage of type 2 fibers, so over 50% type 2, below 50% type 1. And what that means is that you should use higher intensities, lower repetitions uh, when you're training this particular muscle. I had a, an aerobics instructor that approached me several years ago who. Uh, was performing hundreds and hundreds of crunches each and every day and she could never feel her abdominals um, and she felt that she had stagnated with her abdominal muscle growth uh, ages ago and so she said to me you know no matter what I do I never experience any soreness and I really want to feel my abs what should I do well I explained to her that there's a greater fast twitch composition in the rectus abdominis muscle in particular and that she should use higher loads and less repetitions. So I gave her a program that